back to Kizzy Couture. I am Kizzy. This is where fashion meets fabulous. And before we get started, I am wearing a button-up shirt that I found on a clearance rack of Target. It's striped and it reminded me of some star shirts that I've seen from time to time. So I decided to try it. And I want to tell you what we will be discussing today. We're going to be talking about Kurt Geiger. I did a review a couple of weeks ago. Well, I actually released it a couple of weeks ago. And I talked about my experience with the XXL Kensington bag in lambskin leather. It was not a favorite of mine at all. And I wanted to try some other items from the brand um, just so that I could be well, well rounded, at least have, you know, try some different things before I write off a bag uh, just based off one bag. So just to refresh your memory, the bag. Uh, that I did a review on is this Kensington bag and I will link that video below if you haven't seen it please check it out so that you can hear my detailed reviews on this bag in that video I told you I would pretty much try anything for 50% off um, I love me a deal I love me a deal so maybe before I even released that video I was uh, perusing Nordstrom Rack site and I came across the bag that you see right here. This is a Kensington but it's calfskin leather instead of lambskin leather. It came with way more structure than the lambskin. This bag came in, it's no strings, it's already standing up on its own. Uh, just on the initial look I was already well impressed with this one. This one has a sheen uh, that my other one does not have. This one also uh, is plain in the back, but the sheen is so pretty that I didn't even care about that. So already uh, this bag is coming in hot. So I love the color, this Bordeaux uh, maroon color. It's like one of my favorite lip colors I like to wear in the fall and winter. Also, this bag is gold where the last one was silver. So it does feel a little warmer to me. Um, I already know what fit in it and I showed you what fit in this bag and my other purse review so it's no need to do that you could just check out that video and you can see everything that I put in here but just um, I know for sure I put my iPad my um, MacBook I could fit a lot of things in this bag and I like how I can go to work I can come to the office I can do a lot of things and I like the look of this and it gives me a little more security than my open totes. So I'm hoping that I do love her because I really would like to keep a bag this size in my collection because this bag is also similar uh, to the Chanel um, double X tote. But this bag is not $10,000. This bag was a fraction, right? Especially half off on Nordstrom Rec. The inside uh, was the same as the other bag just to show you. Um, so the inside was the same. It's just, she already just sitting up on her own, just to show you. Um, they both are just, see how this one is just flopped. She has been worn more. Um, even since the last time I've done this review, I have not worn this bag, but she's has shown uh, more wear and tear. So already I am liking this one a whole lot better. So that is... The first item that I have added um, to review for Kurt Geiger. The next one is I was thrifting and I love to thrift and I came across this belt sling bag by Kurt Geiger. It's lambskin so it has the same thin leather um, as this bag um, but it's much smaller. The inside is the same. Um, the zipper um, isn't very smooth but I think the puffiness of it is so cute and this little uh, puffy zipper pull is so cute I do have discoloration and stains but again I found it thrifting so the price point was so small that it doesn't really matter I love this chunky gold um, again I want to wear it as a belt bag and I think if you tiny this wouldn't be a good belt bag because um, the whole star pretty pretty far apart so I'm more than likely wear this as a sling bag but I will definitely keep you posted I can't give you reviews on these items because I haven't used them this is just my initial sharing what I've added uh, the four Kurt Geiger pieces I have added to try 
Um, so this is the second one. Also, the color is nice. Most of my belt bags are dark colors because I do wear a lot of dark, a lot of dark denim. I really don't like to risk color transfer if I do not have to. So uh, we'll definitely keep you posted. But this is super cute. Now I have two more items that I got also off Nordstrom Rack. So the next thing I got was this bag. I love the bling. I love the tweed. I love this blue. Um, I shopped for a client and I added a lot of blues and pastels and sky blues to her uh, closet. And I thought this bag would be a good addition to that. And this inside is tweed and then it has that same black. It's very roomy. And I just love the bling on it. Uh, it's all around. The bling is consistent. Uh, except for the bottom, which is fine. And it has the Kurt Geiger plate. So I thought this was very, very cute. Um, so I decided to pick this up for her. Now, what's still the deal for me with selecting this bag was that they also had some shoes um, on the site. In that Kurt, Ge Kurt Geiger video, I told you that I also want to try some of their shoes. I have saw some cute, colorful platform sandals that I do want to try from them. As soon as they give me a good sale, I'm going to go for it. But look, they had the matching shoes that match this bag. So I thought my client would love this uh, because put this on with some jeans, some white, a solid color jogging set, um, put this on crossbody. I just wish this bag was a little smaller, a little more petite, but I think this is gorgeous. Now she did not end up selecting this one. I had various um, options. So this one will be getting returned back to Nordstrom Rack, but it's not because of cuteness. It's just, I don't have room for another shoe unless I am in love, love. So it does, I don't have the bandwidth to keep this, but this is gorgeous. So um, you should definitely check this out on Nordstrom Rack if you're interested. And um, this is really cute. So out of the four items that I have added, I do love the look of this. It's my favorite from this haul. But the one I'm looking forward to uh, putting in rotation is this bag. Um, so these are my items. Let me know. Um, are you a fan of Kurt Geiger? Have you been adding some of his items to your collection? If so, let me know. Also, if you have some items from this brand that you are loving, please share that with me too um, in case I'm in the market to try more new things. Again, I will follow up in about six, six months to let you know if I use these items and if they were a pass or a fail for me. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Remember, no matter what you do, stay stylish and beautiful. Until next time, thanks.